In this video, I'm going to be providing a brief tutorial on programming Agilent's new PXI instruments using LabVIEW. This video is only going to cover the very basics to get you started programming the instruments. Downloading and installing drivers is always the first step, but I'm going to assume you've already done that, and I'm going to go ahead and dive in and open a blank VI. Now we're going to start off with the block diagram. You can either go to the View menu or press Ctrl E to get there. Now if you right click, it'll bring up what you call your palette. Go ahead and click the down arrow and go to Instrument I.O. In the Instrument I.O. menu, there's a thing called Instrument Drivers. I have chosen to show you the M9186. It's a PXI power supply. So I'm going to go ahead and select that driver. Then I'm going to click on the pin and pin this palette so that I can get to the M9186 controls easily. Now the first step with any instrument is to initialize a session with the instrument. So go ahead and select the initialize VI and place it in your block diagram. If you look in the top right hand corner, I've turned on the help feature and it shows you a little bit more about the VI. Now let's go and look at the pin. See if I move my mouse cursor over the VI, it tells me the first pin is called resource string. If I right click on that and go to create, you can either select constant or control. I chose control. Now at the bottom you also have to have an error in. This time I'm going to go to create and select constant. Constants won't show up on the front panel of your program, but control items will. Now that we've initialized the instrument, we can go ahead and configure it. So go ahead and select the configure menu, and I'm going to want to select output configuration VI. So I'm going to drag that into my block diagram and then I'm going to connect the instrument handle and wire it over. Then I'm going to select the error out and wire it over. And then there's two pins of interest. There's a function pin and a level pin. Now on the function pin I'm going to right click, go to create, and I'm going to select control here because I want it to show up on the front panel. Now if I go to the level pin I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to right click, go to create, and select control. Now my wiring diagram is starting to look a little ugly, so I want to clean that up. Now if you see at the top there's a little broom looking icon, go ahead and click that. It says clean up diagram. And now look, it, it cleans up my diagram so it's a lot easier to read. Now I want to pause for a moment and take a look at my front panel. Because I've created three controls now and I kind of want to take a look and see what the front panel is looking like. So go ahead and press Ctrl E or go to the view menu and take a look at the front panel. As you can see, I've got three different labels here. I've got the resource string, the function, and the level. The resource string is where you put the visa address of the instrument. You can find this in IO Libraries Connection Expert. Next is the function menu. If you click on the arrow in the function menu, you can scroll between the different functions of the power supply. And level, you can set the voltage level you want to output right here. Now let's go ahead and go back to our block diagram. Now that you've set an output level, you may want to check and make sure the instrument correctly read the output you want to set. So go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and select the Get Level VI and add that to the program. Now go ahead and drag over the Visa resource and then the error out again. Now this one you're going to be reading a value, so you need to create an indicator it's called. If you right click on the Level pin, and go to create and select indicator and that's the last command I plan on sending the instrument so what I want to do now is close the session with the instrument in order to get there I need to press the up arrow on my palette and go up a menu level and then select close VI and drop that into my program and again you drag over the resource string and the error output and then I would suggest going up and cleaning up your diagram again now before we move to the front panel and run the program, let's do a quick review of what we did. Basically we opened a session with the instrument, we configured the instrument with a level and a voltage setting, and then we went ahead and confirmed what that voltage setting was, then we're going to close the session with the instrument. Any instrument you program in LabVIEW, you're always going to have to initialize it to open a session, and you're always going to have to close it when you're done. And that doesn't just pertain to PXI instruments, that's all instruments. GPIB, LAN, doesn't matter. Now let's look at the front panel. As you can see, I rearranged things a little bit, so I hope it didn't confuse anybody. 
I just moved the resource string down and I renamed the level indicator to level check just so I don't get confused between where I'm setting the level and where I'm checking the level. Before we run the program, we need to put in the visa address. That's what goes in the resource string. You can find this information in IO Libraries Connection Expert if you go ahead and click on your instrument. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in here. And then I'm going to set the level. I'm just going to set it to 2 volts. And I'm going to have the function as low voltage. Now I'm going to go ahead and click run. And as you can see, level check shows 2 volts as well. So I know it got set correctly. That concludes this tutorial. I hope you found it useful, and I thank you for watching.